Some days Holliver Inlet is beautiful, and some days she is angry and feisty, kind of like we see right here. Let's see how she wants to treat our boaters on this episode of Boats vs. Holliver. Our first boater to go ahead and take battle against Holliver is going to show us what it's like to do it with your anchor locker open. I don't know why they did this. Maybe they just forgot about it. I can't imagine with this amount of people sitting on the boat, nobody's noticing it. Maybe they're doing it on purpose. Maybe they're just showing off because the boat this size, it doesn't seem to matter. That anchor locker is not coming down and the first round's definitely going to the boats. Our second boaters to battle haul over this episode are going to show us what it's like to have a wet ride coming through haul over. This really isn't that difficult to accomplish. If anybody else is looking to do this, just follow these guys' rules. Go ahead and put you and your buddy behind the windshield, and then stuff five or six of your family and friends into the bow of the boat on a choppy day, and then come out there with a little bow rider like this, and just let everybody get soaked. I have to imagine these guys are doing this on purpose just to get the family wet, and maybe fill the boat up with water. I don't really know what these guys are thinking, but I do know one thing for sure. Holliver is going to win this round because these guys are going to wind up turning around. There's no way they're going to sit out here and battle these conditions in this 24-foot bow rider. Things just don't look good. But you know what? The family's coming in soaked, and maybe they had a good time. Our third round is going to feature a sea ray with trips. A sea ray with trips? I have a hard time even saying that. If you would have told me five or ten years ago we were going to have these big massive bow riders with triple engines on the back, I might have believed you. But if you told me I was going to see a sea ray with one, I really wouldn't have. This boat right here is destroying Hallover though, and this round is definitely going to the boats. Our fourth round, we're going to take a look at what it's like taking the skiff out of Hallover Inlet. I'm not sure if I lived in Miami, this would be my boat of choice. These Carolina skiffs are great if you're out looking to go fish the flats, but to come out of Hallover Inlet, this is just going to be a rough ride. This thing's going to be pole slapping everywhere. And once again, I don't know what's motivating these guys to even go out in these conditions right here on that kind of a boat. It doesn't look like they're going fishing. Everybody's got a beer in their hand, so maybe there's a hell of a party at the sandbar that I'm missing out on. But I'm going to give this round to Hallover because these guys wind up taking a tail whipping the whole way through here. And they do wind up turning around once they decide that whatever they were going to do is not worth the beating they're taking. And that'll put us in our fifth and final round, tied at two apiece, where we're going to see a little airtime and play one of my favorite games to see who takes the win this week, whether they can hold on or not. This crew looks pretty good coming right out. They come off the first big wave. Everything's all right. They're going to hit this next wave, and we look pretty good still, too. And it looks like, no, they're in the water, and Hallover is going to take the win this week. This crew put up one heck of a fight, but sometimes you just can't beat Hallover. No matter how hard you try, she just smacks back too hard sometimes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, please check out our other channels. Wavy Boats has got all this great footage from Hallover Inlet that we use here. And Broncos Guru is my channel where we do some great comedy boating videos over there. And we would love for you to check both those channels out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button. Stick around here and hang out with us. If you don't, we're going to come steal your trailer chalks.